Hey everybody, this is Rod from Diaspora Kicking the Bobo. Just coming back to you again. You know, I saw a very interesting video where Dinah Samir had a few guests on and one of the guests was Juliet from Blagzit in the Gambia. And one of the things that I was listening to was her defense of the diaspora and how she wanted to get, I would say, um, citizenship for all black folks in the diaspora. I thought that that was an amazing idea. This is, wasn't the first time I ever heard her talk about this, but she did. And she made sense, good defense of it. She explained herself very well. She was passionate about it, you know? And before I go on, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel. Like I say, I'm going to be moving out there in West Africa and I'm going to take my programming, my business, Awaken Recovery there for human services, um, PTSD, historical trauma, chemical health, all of it. But I need your help. I'm not asking for money, just asking for your subscription. So she was on there and she was talking about, you know, immediate citizenship. She was saying that Africa needs to answer for that, just like Europe needs to answer for that. And I believe that. See, here's the thing. That is her legacy that she is going to, you know, take on for the rest of her life. And, you know, I know that everybody is not perfect. There's a lot of stuff going on in the Gambia in reference to her. You know what I'm saying? But here's the thing. Nobody is perfect. We shouldn't be interested in her, you know, personal life anyway. What's going on in her personal life is her business. I'm interested in what she's trying to do for the diaspora. And here's the thing, everybody that's against her, you know, is doing things for themselves, not for other people. That's what I'm interested in. Who's doing something for other people other than themselves? Now, don't get me wrong, ain't nothing wrong with doing something for yourself. I'm just saying, what she's doing is bigger than all of us, you know? And that's going to be her legacy. That's that's what we all should be striving for. And I talked about this in one of my videos a long time ago. That, hey, you know, Africa owes us something. They cannot shuck their responsibility for the uh, entrapment of, you know, the slaves back in the day. You know, we have a right to Africa. We do. And we need to claim those rights. We're not saying we want to come there and take over, change the culture. We're just saying, hey, we belong there too. We just didn't jump on a ship and say, hey, we want to go for a cruise. We want to go visit America. We want to go visit South America, Mexico, and Europe. No, they took us, they sold us. And not only that, some of the chiefs and some of the princes, they sold us to them too. And everybody needs to take on their responsibility. But anyway, getting back to Juliet. You know, I've been hearing about the problems that she's been having, you know, over there. But truth be told, it ain't my business. Just like what's going on with the bags. It ain't my business. What's going on with anybody else over there? It ain't my business. I'm sitting here in Minnesota waiting for my time to come over there. And I'm not hearing the full story. I'm not hearing the full story from anybody. And I can't hear the full story while being over here. And guess what? Even if I was over there, I could care less about what's going on in somebody else's personal life. I'm trying to survive and I'm trying to live my life as God has intended me to live. The happy companion. I can care less what's going over there with the happy companion. He's over there doing what he needs to do. He's doing right. He's doing good. How many wives he has is not my business. I can care less, you know. But here's the thing. When it comes to Juliet, her trying to get us citizenship, and guess what? We should be backing her on that. Put aside what's going on in her personal life and back her up. We're all talking about we all need a second plan. Well, she's trying to give us a second plan, and we need to back her up. Forget about that. Look, 
there's nobody perfect. We look at Martin Luther King. We look at Martin Luther King and we say Martin Luther King was the best civil rights leader ever. He probably was, you know, but guess what? Even during the height of civil rights, the height of his leadership, he had some black marks too. There were rumors of adultery. There was rumors of him cursing and he's supposed to be a minister and smoking and he's supposed to be a minister, you know? Some people tried to drag him down for that, but we didn't let him, you know? Now, I'm not putting her on the same level as Martin Luther King, but what I'm saying is, is that we got to start and stop listening to junk. Yes, I said it, junk. And take things serious, you know? Because I'm from all those guys, I'm for all those guys over there. I want them to make it because if they make it, you know what that means? That means I can make it. And if I back them, guess what that means? They'll back me and you'll back me. We don't have to live next door in order for us to care about each other. You know, we need to do some conflict resolution. Hey, that's what I do for a living, conflict resolution. Get people together, solve their issues. Help them solve their problems, you know, telling them that what you're fighting for ain't even worth it. What you're doing is bigger than what you're fighting for or what you're fighting over, you know. Come together and let's do this. Some of the biggest personalities on YouTube, people listen to you. And it's time to put all that mess down, you know, because every time you talk about somebody else and the way you talk about them, guess what? It makes you look worse than the people that you're talking about because your communication is not, you know, the way it should be. You know, how are you gonna talk about somebody else and at the same time calling them MFers and telling them to F you? I look at it and go, wow. What you're saying, you're demonstrating what you're saying about them. You know, we need to get together, stick together. Because guess what? The only way we are going to make it is that we stick together. And here's what, let me tell you this. Y'all know for a fact that everybody on the planet has something to say about African-Americans because of the stereotypes of the television that they've been watching. Everybody, everybody got something to say, but all we need to do is stick together and go, you know what? I don't care what nobody say. You can say something about Black Aces of the Gambia. I'd be like, mm, I don't care. I'm not there. So I'm not gonna blame them for anything. Blacks, I don't care. You have your I don't care. You can't say nothing about them to me because I'm not there. And even if I was there, it will be their business, not mine. So, join me in, in protecting and, you know what, helping them achieve their goals, especially Juliet. I would love to step there, you know, with my money, with everything, and then they go, hey, come on, here's your paperwork to fill out for your citizenship, you know, because, you know, my DNA comes from that area. You know, it's Guinea-Bissau, which is uh, Belanta. Belanta is also located in the Gambia and Senegal. On my father's side, I'm 100% from that area. My mother's side is uh, Gambia, Senegal, Liberia, and Sierra Leone. She got a lot of stuff in her. Basically, uh, my dad's side is just uh, Belanta. So, you know. And I can do a lot of help for them. So join me in joining them, supporting them in what they do. And let's stop listening to the nonsense. And they need to stop the nonsense. You know what I'm saying? Because each and every one of them influenced me. And it's not easy to influence me and to convince me because I'm not a dumb man. Neither am I a silly man, you know? But with that said, hey, 
How about supporting this channel? You know what I want to do with this channel. I want to open up a human service department in West Africa. Which country first? I don't know. I would like to open it up in one of the countries that my DNA tells me, you know, but it's up to the subscribers. I need as many subscribers as possible so that we can take care of the chemical health, the mental health, the PTSD, the historical trauma, the uh, abuse, domestic abuse, all of this. Some people say, well, we don't have that here. Yeah, you do. You do. Nobody is perfect. No country is perfect. But join me. Subscribe to the channel. Help me out. Because I don't want to ask anybody for any money to do anything. And with that said, hey, God bless all of you. See you next time.